the dock in iOS 11 has been greatly improved. Um, as you can see on my screen here, the dock looks very different from um, iOS 10 um, in that it is now considered a floating dock. So um, rather than having it stationary on the bottom, it sort of floats on top of your screen. And there's some great benefits to having a floating dock now in iOS 11. Um, one of the, the new features uh, for the dock is the ability to add even more apps. Um, so for example, I've got um, some of my frequently used apps and some app folders down there in the dock currently, but if I wanted to add even more than the, the um, seven icons I have down there currently, I could of course tap and drag and place even more apps down inside my dock. Now you'll notice on the right side of my dock, um, the, uh, towards the right of the dividing line, are three other app icons. And these apps don't um, sit in my dock um, all the time. They, are, they actually serve two purposes. First, um, the, the first two apps you see, the Photos app and the Google Expeditions app, those are my most recently opened apps. So um, as I'm switching between apps and opening different apps throughout the day, um, two of my, mo my most recently opened apps will appear on the right side there. So there's a new recent app access feature built into the dock. Um, also, sort of flickering in, um, on and off there, um, is the ability to see apps that you are currently accessing on other Apple devices. So right now you see the Reminders app with a little uh, desktop screen icon in the corner of it, and that's because I'm uh, using the Reminders app on my MacBook right now. And so my iPad and my MacBook are connected, so my iPad can recognize that I'm using the Reminders app and will give me access, quick access, to that Reminders app on my iPad as well, just in case I want to switch between my devices. So the dock, not only is it floating, but it allows you to add even more apps, uh, gives you access to your most recently used apps, and gives you access to apps that you're using on other Apple devices. Now, another benefit to having the, uh, the dock floating um, in iOS 11 is that you now have access to the dock at any time, not just from your home screen. So if I were inside um, my Chrome browser app here, and I wanted to quickly access another app, I don't have to go back to the home screen to do that. I can simply swipe up from the bottom and I have quick access to my floating dock where I can jump into another app by tapping into it.